Hey guys, it's your friend Izzy. Today I'm going to be telling you guys some Easter facts. And also later, I'm going to be showing you what. I just have a water bottle. I'm kind of thirsty. In case I get thirsty, you know. Water bottle, always good. And I'm going to tell you some Easter facts from my Buddy Double We're in Trouble book by Dan Gutman, one of my favorite authors. He makes really funny books. Oh, I'm thirsty again. <laughs> Casey you knows always good to have water on you when you're making a YouTube video. You're like that. Casey you get hungry or thirsty. So yeah. And the pictures are by Jim Palito, I think. I don't know how you pronounce it. The cover. And Jim did a very good job drawing the cover. And it says on the bottom, extra in an Easter basket filled with eggs with extra game puzzles and more. So, if you can see that. So, after you read the nice story, I can be too. By the way, I got this at Barnes and Noble. So I'm not sure. It cost four dollars and ninety nine cents. And it can't. If you live in Canada, it would have cost five dollars and ninety nine cents because everything's more in Canada because the money's different. So, you go after you read the story. You go to the end of the book. Because there's going to be facts, games, how to draw them. So it's really cool. So the, the fact number one, the day of Easter trades every year. It always falls on a Sunday between March 22nd and April 25th. And this is what AJ said. So this is AJ. He's the main character in the Dan Gottman series. Um, My Weird School special. My Weird School. So... He said, if you ask me, Easter should make up its mind, like Christmas. Christmas is always on the same day, December 25th. Easter doesn't even know what month is, and what a dumb head. Can you imagine if your birthday was a different day every year? That could be weird. So he's holding different two calendars because Easter was on two different days. Because imagine that my birthday's on October 13th. Imagine my birthday this year in 2015 is on... December 12th, or December, on uh, December 12th. It, like, changes all the time. So now let's go to fact number two. And I'm thirsty again. I'm so thirsty, guys. I don't drink a lot during the day, like, not that much. So I get really thirsty sometimes. All right, so let's go on to fact number two, guys. All right, I got water on my face. Fact number two. Americans eat about 7 billion pounds of candy every year. That's a lot of candy over Easter. We're having jelly beans and egg, chocolate eggs in that and peeps and everything. Not peeps. Like all those candy. Probably like more than Halloween. Like it's a lot of candy. Let's see what AJ said. And that's just in my house. We eat more candy on Easter than we do on Christmas. We eat more candy on Easter than we do on Valentine's Day. Then we eat more candy on Halloween, the best day of the year. And here's the picture. Very nice, right? Here's the picture of that. So imagine that, that America eats that much candy every year. Imagine how much for Easter they eat 7 billion pounds. Imagine how much candy they probably eat. For Halloween, America, probably, like, like, more than triple that amount, like, so, double that amount, like, a million times for Halloween. Because when people go trick-or-treating, you get so much candy. And you buy candy to get out, so that's, like, a lot, a lot of candy. So let's go on for fact number three. Fact, people were invented by a guy named Sanborn. In the 1920s, the sign on the store where he sold them said, Just born. Every year around Easter, Americans buy more than 700 million pieces. 700 million pieces? Oh my gosh. That is so many peeps. 700 million. That's a lot of peeps. I love peeps, by the way. I love the, the chicks, and I like the buddies, and I like how they decorate them. They're really cute with the sugar. They taste delicious because like a marshmallow that has so much sugar in it. And it's colder with sugar. And I'm thirsty again. I'm always thirsty, guys.
just right now. I don't know why I'm filming, why I'm filming my video. I'm getting so thirsty. So, yeah. So, this is what AJ said. That's a lot of peas. I think I ate 700 million peas last year, last Easter. I thought I was going to die. It was the greatest day of my life. If you think 700 million peas is a crap of every Easter, me, 16 billion jelly beans. Wow, if you took all those jelly beans and put them in a line next to each other, you know how far they would reach me either. But that would be a really weird thing to do. Anybody who lines up jelly beans has too much time on their hands. So think about it. They, America eats, uh, America eats how much candy? Let's see, how much candy does America eat? Americans eat 7 billion pounds of candy. They eat 700 million peeps, peeps, and they eat 16 billion jelly beans. You know how many jelly beans that is? And that's just for America. Think about how, like, Canada, too. If you had a Canada, too, that would be, like, double the amount. So that would be, like, so much candy. Let's see. Are there any more facts? Let's see if there's any more facts. Yep, there's another fact. If you want to tie your own Easter egg at home, you need half a cup of boiling water, teaspoon of white vinegar, and about 20 drops of food color. Oh, there's one more thing you need. Eggs. Of course you need eggs. And this is the picture. Very nice, right? So, it's very easy to dye eggs. I never dyed eggs before because I don't celebrate Easter. But, you know, it sounds like fun. Sounds pretty simple, you know, with the, you boil your eggs, you color them, you dye them. I think I did that at school one time when I was in kindergarten. We like to, we had to bring in boiled eggs and um, we wrapped them in and then they had water or something with food coloring in it and we would put the egg, drop the egg with a food into the food coloring and pick it back up and then it would be a dyed Easter egg, dyed Egg, it would be pink or blue or whatever color, so it's really nice. So the fact number four. Fact the first time in the history of the world that the Easter Bunny was mentioned back in the seventeen hundred back in the seventeen hundred in Germany. So the Easter Bunny is over four hundred years old. Wow, it's almost as old as mine. So AJ said, Wow, it's almost as old as my parents. Wow, so the Easter Bunny has been is very old. 400, 400, what? 400, over 400 years old. Oh, very old. So yeah, the Easter Bunny been around for many years before me. Oh yeah, so let's go on to the next thing. Right, the first White House Easter egg roll was back in 1878 when Rupert B. Hayes was president. He was also the first president to use a telephone. So, you can see the president, the president, so they did an egg roll, some kind of egg roll thing. And I'm thirsty again. I'm so sorry guys, I keep drinking. Okay, and this is what AJ said. Do you know what President Hayes said during his first four He said, if that's this, the police come to the White House side, there are a bunch of people rolling eggs over, all over the world. Get them out of here. That's really weird. So that was his first phone call. The president, that was his, oh, I forgot to show you guys the picture. I'm sorry. Guys, so there's the picture of the president. So Jim did do a very good job drawing all those pictures. And think about it. That was his first call. Calling the police. Kind of weird because you're, you, you first call phone call with someone, usually something good, like calling a friend or your family member, but it was the police. All right, let's go on to fact number um, six. That, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, the largest Easter egg in the history of the world was over 25 feet high and weighed almost 9,000 pounds. Wow. That's a big egg, and that's even in the Guinness World Record book. It must have been really, really big. Wow, and this is what AJ said. If you think that's big, just imagine the size of the chicken. So this is the picture Jim drew. Right, let's go on to the next page. So this is just, there's no, I don't think there's any more facts. No, there's not any more facts, but I'm just going to show you the rest. 
And Adrian has something to say. Easter rhymes with keister. Do you know what keister is? A keister is your butt. You, can, you can't say butt because grown-ups get mad. Nobody knows why, but it's perfectly cool to say keister. So the next time you want to say butt, say keister. If that, if your parents get mad, tell them they should be glad you didn't say butt. I could tell you a lot more cool stuff about Easter, but I have more important things to do. I go stuff my face with peeps and chocolate buddies and, and jelly beans. Happy Easter, Professor AJ, the Professor of Austin. The picture Jim drew. Very nice picture of um, AJ ready to get some peeps. And then back there's a happy Easter maze that says directions. The golden egg has been hidden somewhere in Mayor Hum Hummel's backyard. Help AJ find it first, but don't get distracted by the ordinary egg along the way. So it's like a little maze. Oh, yeah. Do you think of the next page, it says there's an Easter word search. Here's the directions. Direction. There are 10 Easter words hidden in these messy jumble of letters. Can you find them all? And at the bottom, there's a little word bank. That's, um, I forgot it. And then it says hidden Easter eggs. Direction. There are two decorated Easter eggs hidden in this picture. Connect the dots in number order until you read the invisible image and color the eggs. In any way you like. So that's the picture of it. So now let's go to the next page. Next page is pretty cool. One of my favorite. It says draw your own weird cool character. I told you how to draw AJ. It just shows you how I'm trying to remember her name. What's his her name? Oh my god. Her name is Oh, Andrea. Andrea too. So told you how to draw both of them and then you can try it yourself. The next one is the Extraordinary Easter Code. Use these secret codes to swap it, swapping letters in below and help AJ solve these Easter mysteries. So you help AJ solve the Easter mysteries. On the next page, the Easter Egg Scramble. That's very nice. And then these are just trivia questions that you could do. And then here's some jokes. Some jokes. To do that mostly. And then up the back, there's, and then here is the answer key for when you're done. When you're done, you can check your answers. So, yeah. So, and here's the back of the book again. With the back of the book. Full stuff. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we do show you guys the stuff, the cool extras, and the funny double word trouble. This is a great book. I was just getting it. They sell it. They'll probably sell it at your local bookstore or Barnes and Noble like I got. So you should really get the funny double word trouble or read other Dan Gutman books because those are the best. So yeah. So, yeah. so thank you guys for watching this fun Easter themed video because Easter is on Sunday, April 5th, and I hope you guys all have a very happy Easter, happy Passover. I celebrate Passover, but if you do celebrate Easter, happy Easter. Have a very happy holidays. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to the Izzy Rubinson channel if you want to watch more cool videos with your friend Izzy. And don't forget also to Subscribe to my sister, Jessica Rubinson. She really wants to get 10 subscribers, so please keep subscribing to her. She only needs um, five, four or five more subscribers to get to her goal of 10. 10. And my goal is to get 50 subscribers. And I only need eight more subscribers to get to 50. So keep subscribing, please, please. Don't forget to like the video. Two thumbs up and see you Close it. Do not forget to comment down below something that you, what you're gonna do this Easter. Are you doing an Easter egg hunt? Are you having all your family over for dinner or lunch? Tell me in the comments what you're doing for the holiday. Or if you celebrate Passover, tell me what you're doing for Passover. Or if you don't celebrate either Easter or Passover, just tell me what you're gonna be doing over spring break. So now for question of the day. I forgot yesterday's new question of the day. Sorry, guys. So today's question of the day, of course, like what I just said, is what are you doing for Easter slash Passover? Or whatever you're celebrating on Saturday or Sunday or whatever you celebrate, or if you don't celebrate any holiday this coming weekend, just um, tell me what you're going to be doing over break break. 
So don't forget also to watch my my dear my DIY Easter treat video that I'm going to be making after I eat dinner. So don't forget to check that out and don't forget to read more Dan's Up in the Thanks you guys again for watching. Bye. And don't forget to share this video on social media. On Instagram, Twitter, um, well, every social media. Bye.